Good morning, everyone. It's time for the garden video 2021. This is early May, and I have some plants here. Only four right now. There'll be more here soon. These are spinach, by the way, and I'm just gonna use a, a small dish to give them some water here in the early morning. Oops. And there we go. But the big thing happening at the moment is that we have to go and fix the garden from last year's damage. I don't know if you saw last year's video, but uh, so there's, there's some stuff that needs to be done. So before we put any plants in, that'll be the first thing that we do with the garden this year. And here's the state of the garden. Yeah, it's kind of no good, eh? This is from when last year Naomi broke the door that was here. Um, she kicked it in while she was watering the plants, but that's fine. So what I have to do is, I have some more used doors that are, you know, they're no good for inside the house, but I'm going to use them for this. Um, I'll shovel all this earth back. I'll uh, maybe even reuse some of the screws there to attach the new door. And then the new plants come tomorrow, so Naomi and I will, uh, will weed, plant, and water. And guess what? Using the power of movie magic, all I have to do is snap my fingers and it'll be done. Well, it's, uh, it's a bit bigger than I would have liked. It's a lot taller than the last door. <laughs> Oops. But you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, but definitely Naomi can't go over this side anymore. Jeez. Like, it's, it's like almost up to my waist. All right, guys, the plants are here. Look at them. Look at them. Ooh, that one's a little bit yellow, but it'll be fine. It's time. These guys gotta go outside, and they gotta go outside today. So as Naomi does all the weeding right there, hi Naomi. Hey guys. This all has to also be smoothed out, and I'm gonna grab all the compost from the composter back there and shove it in the garden. That's gonna be a lot of fun. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Composting is good for the earth, but it sure is gross. <laughs> Basically, for a good compost, you need uh, you need greens, which are you know vegetables, including the orange carrots, but generally just like vegetables. And you need browns, which are egg cartons and toilet paper rolls, and that'll mix together and give you a good compost. So that's the top of it, where it's all, this is all new stuff. Oh my god! What? I just pulled out a clump of dirt that wasn't didn't have anything attached to it. It was just it was just roots. Yep. It was just roots. <laughs> This stuff at the top here will become compost in like a year or two. It's the stuff at the bottom that's going to be very fully composted. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. It's. You look at that at the bottom there. Look at that. Hold on. That's, that's all vegetables that have been turned into compost. Good stuff. Dude, this giant worm just came crawling out of the compost. When he stretches, he's like 10 centimeters long. Actually, no, it's more like 20. Look at him go. <laughs> he's actually like beelining towards Naomi, who has who has the bug phobia. There's a lot of wigglies in here. There's already a lot of wigglies in here. That's how you know it's a good compost, is if you get big fat worms who are enjoying life in there. It's so many ants. I hate this so much. It's terrifying. Yay. So, so Naomi, how do you feel about like the next Mass Effect show that we do, which will actually be very soon, being all about the Rachni? Oh, God, I forgot about them. Can we just skip that part? <laughs> so, as Naomi rakes and levels the earth, I'm going to do a few things. I've got to basically repair this trellis from the winter and clear off of those old cucumber vines. They actually stayed there all winter. Any more bugs? Oh, there's always bugs. I just, they're all under the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The garden looks uh, done for now. We're going to go put some plants in now. We've got this bag of manure. We're going to have to cut open. Wait, You'll see. Naomi has to figure it out. So, I'll just take these uh, scissors from ye old kitchen that Naomi's going to get mad about using on poop. Yeah. What are you doing? We have other scissors. And you cut open the bag of manure. And there it is. There's our manure. Why are 
spaceship filming poop. No one wants you to film. And what we'll do is we'll just like dig a little hole and put the poop in and then put the plant in the hole mm -hmm. and then bury it up. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah. Let me show you how it's done. Here is how to plant a plant. 101. Dig down a whole bunch, okay? And then you take yourself a handful of poop. Why aren't you using gloves for the poop? Take yourself this handful of poop. Here it is. Good fucking God, Dev. And you just put it in the bottom of the hole. See, there's the poop. And you lick your fingers. I'm God. <laughs> you have your pepper plants, right? You just kind of pop them out. Like a, like a, like a, like a, oh, from the bottom. Yeah, like a candy oh, or something. Oh, okay. You know? you just pop. Come on, pepper plant. I'm losing Without the breaking it, Jesus. You pop it out. Come on. <laughs> out. And then you like put it with the poop. And you put it like in the ground. Like so. See? And don't cover up the plant, obviously. And there's your plant. Hooray. And now when the roots go down and impact that poop, it'll take off real quick. And everything's in. Yeah. A little bit dirty, but it's fine, it's fine. It's just me now, Naomi uh, saw a big bug and left. But we uh, we pretty much finished it up anyway. She, she just, she's just cleaning up. The tomatoes are in the back there by the deck, as are the cucumbers. The cucumbers are a little bit bunched together, but that's okay, because they're gonna, they're gonna grow up that trellis and over onto the deck, so that's fine. Peppers are here, same as last year, along with the snap peas along the side of the shed here. Here, there's kale and spinach, a row of each. And I didn't mind planting them a little bit closer together than normal because I'll be cutting them regularly. So they, before they actually start growing in on each other, I'll be snipping them and then eating them. It was a hard couple hours work, but you know, now that it's done, it's, it's not that big of a deal, you know? Like that first initial round of work is pretty tough. Look at that, look at that bug. I'm gonna get him. Ha, I soaked him. So that first initial round of, um, of planting is kind of tough, but after you're set, you're pretty much set. You just gotta, and you just gotta water every day and, and wait basically, as long as you put that, that manure in there, you'll be fine. Good morning guys, it's the first week of June, about 5.45 in the morning, and check it out. The spinach is at the point, I'm gonna have to harvest it soon. There's actually a few dead leaves there for, from some frost a couple weeks ago. But I can start cutting this spinach off and eating it. Um, the beans are all going good, except for that last one back there. You can see it's bent a bit. The uh, the frost killed that one. One of the cucumbers died. It used to go in that spot right there. That's gone. And the rest of them are kind of wilted. Um, and a few leaves fell off this kale, so there's only one leaf left in the kale plant. I don't know if that's going to make it. But like aside from those those problems, everything is bright and green and growing. Yeah, man. Even the basil is pretty good though. I might start cutting that soon too. So it's the middle of June and check out how it looks. Tomatoes coming in nicely. The cucumbers perked right up. Kale's growing in. Peppers, they always take a while. And look at, look at how high some of these beans are climbing, man. So with the kale, you just kind of take your scissors here like this. And go in and you snip. And you snip off all the lower leaves. And those will be the ones that you eat. And the higher leaves will help stimulate some new growth. Like so, eh? You can leave about two or three leaves on there, leave the smaller ones in the middle. All these, I'll freeze them away and I'll eat them over the course of the year. And then that's the plant. I'm gonna do that for all of these guys. And good morning, everyone. The garden's looking very good. There's Naomi going to get water. <laughs> and the tomatoes are actually taking off quite a bit. Peppers are doing okay. This is actually the earliest growth we've seen on a lot of these plants in this location. The uh, cucumbers are going. There's the spinach. Now I picked off a bunch of the seeds of the spinach and the leaves and I'm hoping they'll return because I know with spinach if you let them go too long they will go to seed which is no good because they stop growing leaves. Well I picked all the seed shoots off and I cut all the leaves and it looks like the leaves are starting to regrow again. So maybe we'll get more spinach out of it. 
There's the pea vines. They're going up. No peas yet. I don't think. Anyway, let's take a, let's take a closer look. Maybe some coming in here. But the peas are going very well this time. This one broke. This one broke back at the start of the year. And it's just... It's done. Look, look, at, look at how floppy it is. It's, it's done. Yeah, see? There's like new shoots coming out of the spinach with, with new leaves and new seeds. So we'll get a bit more spinach out of it. These cucumbers, contrary to every other cucumber I've had, they're growing straight up. So I will have to like move them towards the various bits of mesh that I have here set up. Can you even reach it? I did! <laughs> so I'm going to cut some of this, uh, this kale, because the kale's due for another trim. And I'll see you in a few more weeks. So I just pulled two bags of kale out of the garden. These will go into the freezer and we'll eat them over the course of the winter. And there's all the kale plants now that they've been trimmed down. They're a lot smaller. However, <laughs> Naomi's sniffling up a storm. Pollen! <laughs> <laughs> so one thing of note though is that this plant, it lost all of its leaves early. And like I didn't cut them, they just kind of fell off. But there's one leaf left that I've left there just so it has some way to get sun. And it's been growing a bunch of shoots. You think it's time to cut this leaf off? I, I don't want to kill it. I want those shoots to come in before I cut this thing off. No, oh, well maybe you should wait till it's like more leafy then. Yeah, once these shoots become leaves, like even small leaves like, like this one, then I'll cut this giant leaf off. Hey, Naomi, does it bother you that I use the kitchen scissors in the garden? I've given up Karen. <laughs> <laughs> It's early July, and here's the garden. It's, it's grown quite a bit. So those tomatoes are just going nuts over there in a, into a big jungle. Peppers are doing okay, there's a few coming in. We've harvested the kale a few times, it's time for another harvest, pretty much. The spinach was only so-so. The peas have taken off all the way up. <laughs> It'll be on the roof soon. There's actually a lot of peas. This guy here, for example. Yeah, look at that. There's a pea. I'm gonna eat it. And it's pretty good. The cucumbers are also climbing quite nicely too. This is like, this is a better garden than last year. So things are looking pretty good out here this morning, except for one exception. This vine has died. It it feels very hollow, and I have no idea why. I got most of the peas off, except for this tiny one, before it died. You can follow it all the way down, and at its roots, another vine has come up, and that's one of these two. So the roots still seem to be good, but for some reason, this branch died. No idea why, but here it is. There are a lot of peas now though. I'm gonna have to uh, start taking these off and eating them. Also look at this. That is the first tomato. Welcome to August 1st everybody. And the garden's going, isn't it? Look at it. So let's, let's go over it. Tomatoes are all coming in. There's a bunch of them about this size. They'll be good to pick in a few weeks. Peppers, same thing. Yeah, can I uh, get in there? Yeah, look at those. They'll be good soon, too. The peas, we ate a lot of peas, and then they started dying off. Um, there's still a few coming in here, but... There's a few, yeah, a few more just made it, too. But, same problem as last year. A bunch of the roots just started dying. Something is happening with my peas every year that's causing them to die halfway through the season. Now, I'm still getting growth, and I'm still getting new peas, but as you can see, a lot of the vines are just not doing very well. The spinach all died, so I just pulled them out. Kale's going very good. I've harvested five or six bags of kale and frozen it. And now we have to talk about the cucumbers, because the cucumbers are going crazy. Look at this guy. Cucumbers are ready, man. There's a few more hanging there. This one I think is too big, actually. Oops, I didn't see it behind here. So the garden, overall, is not going as well as it did last year. But it's still going very well. I'm pretty happy for that. See, just a contrast, this is a picture of my neighbor's garden and her peas. And as you can see, hers are going a lot better than mine. Um, 
They're a lot more densely packed. They had a lot more peas that were growing in there, densely packed. You can see them up at the top there. And also, even even back in there too. And also, the roots aren't nearly as uh, as like crinkled and brittle as mine are. And additionally, her support is a lot less tall than mine too. Okay, so I was gone for about five days, and it rained a bunch during those five days. So this garden has gone completely um, unattended. And it's going. Peppers are pretty good. Tomatoes are huge. Um, and we have a problem with cucumbers, because I was gone so long, now they're almost too big to eat. Look how big this is. Oh my god, there's two huge ones. Look how big this is, dude. Well, I'll see if we can eat them. So here's today's harvest. We got seven peppers, uh, three cucumbers, and only two here right now because we, we ate some, and three more bags of kale to be frozen over the winter. Now, if you're looking at these cucumbers and thinking they're too big and grow too long, um, and they'll get, they're gonna be woody and full of seeds, it's actually not the case. We have a cucumber plant that just produces naturally very long cucumbers. Here's the one that we've been eating. We had some for lunch today. Here it is. And you can see, even though it's huge, it's actually just a regular amount of seed inside. So this year, my garden lesson is don't travel so much in the summer because all of those cucumbers got really big again. These are almost too big to eat even. Jeez. But during the perfect time it was to pick them, I was, I was not around there as well. Oh my god, there's too many. The tomatoes are getting really big. I'll probably start picking those as soon as they start turning uh, turning red. Pep same with peppers. Peppers are also very big too, but I'll just wait a little bit longer until they uh, they start turning um, yellow. I guess they go yellow, then orange, then red, eh? And it's time for the kale harvest. Pretty bit of kale. And here we are. It is the last week of August. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to rain. And I actually have some pretty bad allergies right now, so I'm going to do this quick. Um, here's the garden. A lot of the tomatoes are coming in. There are still some more peppers that are growing down there as well. The kale's doing okay. And the cucumbers are pretty much done, but there's like five good cucumbers that need to be harvested. The peas, of course, are, are over. We ate a lot of peas this year, but they're done. At this point, I'm gonna pull a lot of the red tomatoes off, and then we'll probably uh, figure out what to do with them. Maybe make sauce, maybe make salsa. And I have too many cucumbers, I can't eat them fast enough, but I'm sure it'll be okay. What is this? This is a giant weed. Yeah, right here. It's just, it's not even part of the tomato, it's just a giant weed. I didn't even notice it. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm trying to... <laughs> That's actually really big. I didn't even notice it this whole time. So because there's still at least two to three more weeks of decent weather left, I didn't pull everything off. These cucumbers are a bit yellow, I think I probably might have left them on there too long. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll eat them and see how they are. Here's all the tomatoes that had to come off. There's going to be four times the amount still on the bushes that are still kind of green. So we'll give it a few more weeks for it to pull the garden out. And I also brought the basil plant upstairs. So it's time to, to pull the leaves off this as well. The only thing is, I still don't know how to make dried basil. I don't really have access to like a, a dry basement or anything, so I don't know. Alright, it is September 2nd. And, uh... I'm quite sick right now, but I'm doing this anyway because the uh, the growing season here in Ontario is pretty much over. A lot of those tomatoes are good to go, but a lot of them aren't. A lot, see, there's still a pretty big green one right there. But basically, it's time to pull everything off, let them ripen up in the house. There's a few more cucumbers over there that got to be harvested. The cucumbers did not grow as well as last year's. So the tomatoes are about on par. The peppers are about on par. So, I guess I'll collect them all and we'll see what we have. 
So here's a big pile of red tomatoes. And I'm gonna gamble with the ones that I left on the vine. Like this one, for example. Or this one, maybe they'll keep growing. The problem is that, yeah, and these guys here, they're still pretty small. The problem is, we're getting into the part of the, uh, of the Canadian summer and fall where we sometimes get freak frost early in the year. And if we do, these will all be gone. But it might be worth a gamble just to leave them up for a couple weeks and see if we get anything else out of it. So, just like last year, basically as soon as we hit September, I kind of let the garden go. Things really weren't growing anymore. And we had some early frost, so basically the idea was, I'm not going to water it, I'm not going to invest any more time in it, but whatever I happen to get out of it, I will take down before it's all finally dead. So for example, there's some pretty big peppers here. You see like that one right there. And there's a few new like pepper flowers that pro probably aren't going to go anywhere. There's still a whole bunch of tomatoes that managed to grow to at least a half decent size. I know they're green and they're, they're not fully grown yet, but they're not gonna because in the next few weeks it is going to be too cold. So I will pull off pretty much everything that can still be eaten. Oh, there's actually, there's actually a red one in there. I can pull off everything that can still be eaten. There's a few small uh, cucumbers over there too. And that is it for the 2021 garden. That's the last of it for this year. Now time to get my girlfriend to do all the hard work of putting it all away and cleaning it. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha!